Dear children, in this video we are going to derive the formula that is called centroid formula. So let us start. Centroid of a triangle is the balancing point created by the intersection of three medians. What is median? The median is the line drawn from the midpoint of one side of a triangle to the opposite vertex. Now tell me how we can find the centroid. As we know that centroid is the intersection of three medians. Just Just to draw the median for the better understanding, given the name to the ABC, find the midpoint of AC, let name D, join midpoint D to the opposite vertex A, so we got the median AD. Similarly, we draw the median BE and CF. Now we can see that there are three median intersecting at a common point. This intersecting is our centroid and usually denoted by G. There is one property of centroid that centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. It means if we go from vertices toward the centroid then length is 2 third and if from centroid to the midpoint of a base, then the length is one third of that median. But for such a big garden, we cannot draw medians. Then what can be done now? The mathematics will help us. Now we will take the help of coordinate geometry to find the centroid. Let us suppose ABC are the vertices of triangle with the given coordinate as shown is figure. Now we also require some other coordinates that is coordinates of E, F and D. Then let us find the coordinate of point D which is the midpoint of BC. Now do you remember how to find the midpoint? Now by using one formula that is midpoint formula to find the midpoint of side BC. So we can find the coordinate of D. Now midpoint formula x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 upon y2 plus y2 upon 2. So here D is uh, by observing diagram you will get x is equal to x2 plus x3 upon 2 and y is y2 plus y3 upon 2. These are the coordinates of D. In similarly, you can find the coordinates of point E and F. Now, to derive the centroid formula, you can use any of these midpoint, not necessarily D only. Here, we are choosing the D. Now we know that centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So that is AG upon AG is to GD is 2 is to 1. Now, now we have coordinate of A and coordinate of D and also the ratio 2 is to 1. So what can be done? Can we use here section formula to find the coordinate of G? Yes. Now we are going to use section formula to find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment into two parts. Here M, here M is equal to 2 and N is equal to 1 and X2 is given X2 plus X3 by 2 and Y2 is Y2 plus Y3 upon 2. Putting these values of coordinates in the section formula, we will get the given step and finally after simplifying we will get the coordinates of point G that x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 and y coordinate is y1 plus y2 upon 3. 
like that we can directly find the coordinate of the centroid steps here to derive the centroid formula revise this uh, steps and write it, write this derivation of centroid formula now let us take one example coordinate of the garden r find the coordinates of the centroid so solution you can see as the coordinates are given put these values in the centroid formula add x coordinate and divided by 3 and add all the y coordinate and divided by 3 after solving you will get x is equal to minus 5 and y is equal to 3 these both are the coordinate of the centroid g that is minus 5 and 3 this is how you can directly find the centroid and you by using the section formula hope you understand how to derive the centroid formula by using the section formula and midpoint formula so do practice of this now this is one problem for you harry sam and joe are the three friends harry is standing at position a whose coordinates are 5 3 sam is standing at the position b and joe is standing at the position g with the given coordinate they decided to meet at point c find the coordinate of c hope so you understand and thank you for watching.